got a boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. Shout out all you uh, really, really hardcore boxing fans today. Big shout out to you all, thanks for backing the channel. And a shout out to all you haters as well. And all you people who want this channel to mess up, you keep watching, don't you? Right, it's that time again, isn't it? You know what time that is, don't you? <laughs> Helmets of the month, 2020, end of January. It's January's helmets time, beginning of the year. <laughs> the votes that we have had in. The votes that we've wallied in, did I say then? Or did I say the votes that we've had in? The votes we've had in this month are astronomical, biblical. If it were Eddie Ernie, it'd be saying world record breaking votes, but I'm, re I'm overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed by the votes we've had in. And I've added it all up. Uh, hmm. We've actually got a tie. For 15th place. So there's 16 names going after 15, uh, 15 places. So, alright. So here we go. In 15th place, Gareth A. Davis. And Frank Warren. Don't know why Frank's in it. I don't think I've ever put Frank in. I don't think I've done it once, but. So. What can you do? Gareth A. Davis. He's there or thereabouts, isn't he? And Frank Warren. Now. I don't mind Frank, actually, because he's. Frank's. Uh, what's the word? Frank is. Well, he's old fish eyes, isn't he? But, and he's not behind the door, but he's boxing, isn't he? Frank's not darts or ping pong. He's boxing, isn't he? That's what Frank is. Boxing. And, uh, so, I'm not going to apologise, because votes are votes. I mean, I've had Carl Frotch, Peter Fury and Dennis Hobson in, you know, in this helmet. So, that's how it goes. If you're in, if you're in it, you can still win it, but it's one of them things. Uh, so, Gareth A. Davis and Frank Warren in 15th place. In at number 14, and it should be higher than this. Bean! Run a bean, could a bean, should a bean, never been. Bait bean! Beanie! He's always there, isn't he? Bean. Mr. Bean. The creepiest man in sport. Creepy! When it all comes out about Bean, I want you all to say, your Uncle Porky told you. You remember that? that I was the one that said, Bean is a bit, you know, He'd be worried, wouldn't you, if he were your geography teacher, wouldn't you? But, uh, being at number 14, in at number 13. He's not, he's not been in much, but it's old Bazza, isn't it? Barry Hearn. Old Barry Hearn, as he's known in the snooker industry. The man who just loves a pound note. The man that keeps telling us that British boxing's booming, but yet <laughs> all heavyweight fights are abroad. But boxing's booming. But we'll get up to that in the next video. But Barry Hearn, in at number 13, Baza. You're probably in Baza because you've been named in Jeffrey Epstein's black book. Why aren't you coming out and explaining the situation? I'd come out and I'd speak on IFL about it because anything else. You want to get on IFL, don't you? Oh, Coogan, come down. 
We need to put it out there. Well, you know, putting out out there on IFL about being in Epstein's little book, are you? So what's happened? Are you a nonce? Or are you, are you investing money with Jeffrey Epstein? Because the media's divided. Personally, I don't think you're dodgy. I don't think so at all. I think Barry Earns a man's man is still a big hero of mine, but you know, I want to know what's going on. You're named in Epstein's book, other people are coming out and they're saying, well, I'm in the book because we did this, we did that. You know, that, that fancy lawyer who's named in it and other people have all come out. Trump's come out and he explained himself. But Barry Earns gone silent! Why is that? Why is that? Eh? Hey? Why? I don't know. Half past two on a Friday. Forgive me if I'm a bit ratty. I think I might even pour one actually. Shout out to the gentleman who sent me this. Ostoya Vodka. Thank you very much. I'll pour a large one I think. It's a bit too large that one pops. One of them days in it on a Friday. You know what I mean? One of them days but... So, so Barry Hearn, number 13, Helmet of the Month for January 2020. All right, Bazza. In at number 12, not been in a lot, but whenever he's got something to say, they always want to say it, don't they? Dream it, believe it, become it. You know it, he's there, isn't he? It's Tundi, eh? Sunday Ajayi, world's best trainer, you know, trainer of uh, area champion, Anthony Yard. What other belts has Yard won? Yard's not won in English, has he always won in English? He's not won a British, he's not won a Commonwealth European or a world title, has he? But dream it, believe it, become it. So I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't get that one, but... In! At number 11, <laughs> Stewie Hall, going on about snakes and money and you've got to watch people in boxing, Stewie Hall, Stuart Hall, the man who took 60 grand of a tickets and gave 55,800 £55, pounds of back, so you sold 4,200 pounds of a tickets for a fight in North East in your home town area but yet you're running around saying that Denny Sobson didn't deliver for you. Denny Sobson delivered you Jamie McDonald's IBF world title. That's what Denny Sobson did for you. Stewie Hall. Mr. £4,200 in tickets in your hometown for a world title. But back up to the fight before were it? The one in Leeds? Wasn't it the one where, who did you fight now? Who did Stewie all fight? Fought in Leeds. And he said he wanted fight week. You got in touch with Dennis. I have to watch what I say here because I can't say too much, but fight week. I'll tell you this much about Stewie all. I'll tell you when it were. He agreed a purse. I'm not gonna say how much, but fight week. He said, I'm not fighting unless I get an extra £15,000. What sort of fighter does that to his promoter? What sort of fighter does that to his promoter? Eh? What sort of person does that? Right, let me have a look. It wasn't Randy Caballero, it was, Martin Ward fight was it, the Leeds one, he asked for 15,000, I forget now, I'm sure it were the one in Leeds where he won world title there, but I think it was actually a defence of his world title because his first defence were a draw then he lost it, so Stewie Hall, is going to go down as the man 
who was a world champion, but he never beat a world champion. Do you get that? Stewie Hall, you're a prick. If you've got a problem, come see me. Give me a slap. Stewie Hall. The man who asked for £15,000 extra, putting pressure on his promoter in fight week, but yet you're putting tweets out telling people about snakes and money and blah de blah. The same Stewie Hall that used to uh, do what he did before he got back involved with boxing. Stewie Hall, come on up channel. Come on up channel Stewie Hall. So I've got a problem with you. Alright, you treat people like crap. That's what you do Stewie Hall, you treat people like crap. You know what I mean? That's what you do mate. That's what people like you do. So, but uh, put that in there. So Stewie Hall, we've, we've levelled you out, haven't we? At number 11, Mr. I want £11,000 on a Wednesday and you're fighting at weekend. Top man you are, Stewie Hall. Top, top man. In at number 10, Umar, IFL Umar. Well, why is Umar in here? Well, people keep e emailing me saying, why is Umar following Eddie Erno about every single day? Why is he not asking the real questions? Why is that? Umar, you're in a position of power. You're in a position to ask the real, real questions. Why are you not doing it? Why? Why are you not doing it, Umar, I fellow Umar? Do you mind putting pictures on of your honey? Of your little honey on Instagram? We don't want to see pictures of your honey, Umar. What we want to see is you asking real questions. Not becoming a platform for IFL's main man, Eddie Irvin. We want to see proper people interview. How can you come up to this area, South Yorkshire, and just go to one gym? You come up and go to one gym. What about Richard Towers' gym, Glyn Rose, Dennis Hobson's gym? You come up and just go to one gym. We know which gym that is, don't we? So, I have a problem with that. I'm a, I, I like to see fair play. I have a problem with people. I have a problem with bullies and I have a problem with people who chat nonsense. When it comes down to doing the job correctly and asking proper questions, they just go quiet, they go silent. Because then people know what it's about, don't they? Well, what it is, Porky, you know, I need my access. We all said that to me, you know, well, what, you know, I've got bills. I can understand all that. But come on. Show some bull, show some gojones. Do you know what I mean? Show some nuts like me and Thomas Hauser. Show some nuts, mate. Instead of being a fanboy, show some nuts. I mean, come on. Jesus. So, Umar IFL Umar. Top 10 pound for pound, porkies. Pound for pound helmet of the month, January 2020. In at number nine, Dillian White, the man who can't get a world title. The man who's knocked back Otis twice and Pulef in Eliminators, final Eliminators, and Anthony Joshua. There's another one, isn't there, an Eliminator? Brazil. But Joshua's were for four belts. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. But everybody's scared to death of Dillian White. I don't get it. Nobody's saying Dillian White hasn't got probably... One of the most devastating left ducks in boxing, but let's have it right. Pinching a living on pay per view, pinching it, and I don't want to hear about oh they're avoiding me and all that. Sue the WBC, sue them. Everybody I speak to in boxing industry, who's a boxer, who's ready for a world title, or their manager or their promoter says to me, "Do you know what we do, Porky? We just fire a letter off and sue them because the WBC are frightened to death." But has Dillian White got an agenda? He keeps up going on about how he's unhappy with Eddie Hearn, blah de blah. The players! Don't want to fight no one! Just trying to get pay-per-view on Sky. That's all it is and keep Matchroom happy. Filling the dates! I mean, Matchroom are filling us with six pay-per-views a year. Joshua's got two. Who is worth the other four? Who is worth four pay-per-views other than Joshua? Who's on Sky? Who? Callum Smith? No. Dillian? Who's he fighting? Billy Joe? Maybe if it's Canelo. But what about the other three? Come on. Jesus. 
If they're gonna give you Liam White pay per views, they might as well give Dave Allen one, is not it? In at number eight. It's Tesco Joe. And there again, aren't you, Joe? Joe is always there, no matter what. He's always rank. He's always in amongst the mix. Joe's not a gatekeeper. Joe is not a gatekeeper when it comes to helmets. No, 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 no. Joe is in the mix. He's a proper full-on helmet. Congratulations, Joe Gallagher. Helmet of the month, 2020 for Jan January. Ranked at number eight. In at number seven for January 2020. <laughs> Here's Johnny! He's always in the mix, isn't he? Johnny Nelson. He's better ranked Johnny now in helmets than he were when he were fighting, isn't he? <laughs> Johnny Nelson! Oh my god, the man who had 15, what it? 15, 16 world title fights and he had four wins. One Carl Thompson, which was a shocking stoppage, and three against people we can't even name when it Ezra Sellers. And what are the two? I don't know, but he's beat four world champions like Robin Reed, Clinton Woods, and Chris Eubank Jr. So you've got to give him respect, haven't you? But come on, it's Johnny! Ex doorman at Roxy in Sheffield, Johnny Nelson. He's there again, isn't he? In at number six, the Monitor Lizard himself! David Haymaker, cost cutter Hay, the original monitor lizard. He works with BT, he works with BBC, he works with Sky Sports. You see him here, you see him there, you see him everywhere! It's David Hay, isn't it? God, oh, Jesus. The man's earning more now than when he was a pound for pound superstar. If David A. You know, I'll tell you a little story. If David A. would have listened to people, he would have been a superstar. When he, when he was with Dennis, David A, right, he couldn't sell a ticket. And he's in Vegas recently complaining that Dennis used to put him on in leisure centres. Leisure centres. Couldn't sell a ticket for love, no money. He couldn't sell a ticket. God, these people, they have a sense of entitlement. You know, like when he came back against Bellew. We all remember when he came back against Bellew, don't we? Oh. My. God. He came back against Bellew in two fights. Held together by sellotape. But he was stronger. Faster. Quicker. Than a speeding bullet. In at number five. <laughs> I'll get my knuckles wrapped for talking about this guy. It's Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Sorry, sorry, Spencer Fearance. I didn't mean Malcolm X, Spencer X, whatever they call him. Spencer Fearance has been voted in. So we'll just leave you at that. Hey, what can I do? He's been voted in. So, Spencer Fearance, you've been voted in. January, Helmets of the Month for 2020. You love it really, Spencer. Don't make out that you don't. You love being in Helmets. In at number four, <laughs> I've never seen so many votes for a media guy in my life except somebody else who's got another media company, but Rob Tebbett in at number four. People are saying Rob Tebbett is hanging out at the back of the McGuigans and he is the guy that's running around saying that the McGuigans are innocent and they don't rob fighters now. I've never been anybody that's accused the McGuigans of anything. I've never defended them because I believe that we should always wait until anything comes out like that. Plus I like Van McGuigan, but Rob Tebbert, people are accusing him of hanging out of the back of the McGuigans and getting favourable access and blah de blah. Well, what can you do? Rob Tebbert, you've been voted and my mate Terry Chappendown, we don't like you anyway, so you were always going to be in it, weren't you? But you're in it to win it, Rob. You're number four, but you didn't make the podium. But someone who did! The Ingle Gym is that way, or is it that way? We don't know because we're riding out of our heads. It's Dominic Ingle, the man who's always walking about eating a stick of radish. Or is it celery? I don't know, but Dominic Ingle's got a cookbook coming out. He's got a song coming out. 
But it's not about Dominic, it's about the fighters. He's not making it about him. When his fighters are on TV, win or lose, Dominic never does an interview on the ring apron. He doesn't do interviews on IFL, he doesn't play a guitar, and he says it's not about him, it's about his fighters. So, Dominic, take a bronze medal, January 2020, Porky's Corner. Alright? But Dominic, do we send a favour? Next time you take your t-shirts down to Dawn's sewing rooms in Doncaster at Mexborough, make sure when you tell her to take the arms in that you give her a tip because she's a nice lady. Alright. Silver medal! Coogan Cassius in at number two, January 2020. Helmets of the month. It's Coogie Bear! Coogan, what can we do? What can we do, Coogan? You're hanging out of the back of Eduardo again! Oh my god! You're walking about Miami! Going on about shorts and pool parties! You're there to talk boxing, not pool parties! Crawl out of the back of Eddie! Crawl out of the back of him, Coogan! You're annoying everybody! You're becoming like a platform for matchroom and it's becoming embarrassing! Go ask Ludi Bella what he thinks about it! There can only be one person. There can only be one person who's going to win this. There can only be one man who can win this. This man, this man is Superman. This man does 250 interviews a week. Every time you turn your internet on and you want to look at boxing, this man is there. He is all over the place. Never make the... Boxer bigger than the promoter. That's right, it's Edward John Hearn, or to his mates in the industry, Eddie Hills, a 4 0 undefeated super heavyweight boxer that nobody has got any footage of. Eddie Hills! <laughs> the knockout specialist, Eddie Hills. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging, Innovation Alloys, Limitless, who are designing website website design company. Alright, shout out to all them people that have backed the channel and sent all your votes in. Alright, we are you people, we couldn't do this channel. Alright, so peace out.